Okay, so we finished using Flexbox to divide our layout into three separate chunks. So at the top, we have our account section. In the middle, we have the market indices section. At the bottom, we'll have the position section. So let's zoom in on the account section. So we already used flex direction column in order to make this column of three different chunks. So now let's divide up this top section into two section, two subsections or two sub views uh, using flex direction row. So we're gonna make the account section on the right look more like what's on the left of your screen where we have buying power and market value on the left and portfolio and cash on the right. And we're also gonna separate some of the styles into a separate style sheet. So let's get started with that. So I'm gonna jump into code here. So I'll go into Visual Studio Code and we have a dashboard screen and you see we have this flex direction column and then we have it divided up into three pieces here. So this top piece is the account section. So I'm gonna go ahead and subdivide this even further. So I wanna uh, do a style for the, the uh, heading. So I'll have, say font size and we'll use 20 here. And so we'll call this the account section, right? And see account is large right there. And then what we'll wanna do is wrap um, this text into a view. And we're gonna try flex direction row. So we're gonna do flex one saying use flex box, flex direction row. And when we do that, any subviews we put inside uh, will be across the row. So I'm gonna make buying power and long market value. Let's just have those on top of each other. And then I'm gonna do view style equals flex one. And let's put this inside of our flex direction row view. And let's do another view that we wrap around uh, the portfolio value in cash. So do that. And then, so that's nested inside of uh, this view. We want it inside of the flex direction row view. So we want these two columns to appear side by side. So let's do that. So we got a view, we got a view, and then we're gonna do style equals flex one. And so we have two styles of flex one and they're inside of flex direction row. If we refresh this, you see we have buying power and long market value on the left side, and we have portfolio value on cash on the right side. Okay, so you might notice we have a lot of inline styles here. So what we wanna do is separate those out so we can control those in one place. Just like you would do on the web, uh, you wanna create a style sheet. So let's, in our main uh, root directory here, I'm gonna create a styles directory and let's create a style sheet inside of there. So I'm gonna create a file called uh, styles.js. And inside of there, um, I'm gonna set a couple of constants, but first I'm gonna import the uh, style sheet component or module from uh, React Native. And this is gonna let us create our new style sheet. So I'm gonna export this so that's available in other files. And I'm gonna call this dashboard style equals style sheet dot create style sheet dot create and you essentially create this big object so the first thing I'm going to do is create an overall uh, key for the account section as a whole I'm also going to define what my headings look like so let's have one key for heading and let's also have one for um, label and let's see what, what we can do here. Let's, let's try heading font size um, 24 and label font size 16. And for both of those, we'll do a bold font as well. So font weight, bold, and font weight, bold. And then the overall account section, uh, we're gonna want to have a little bit of margin there. You see how this is all up against the edge? We want a little bit of spacing there, and we probably want a little spacing around the heading and around the, the labels as well. So uh, let's, let's work on that. So label, so account, we can put margin 15, 
and then we have this exported now let's import it into our dashboard screen so we're going to import um, dashboard style dashboard style from dot dot slash style slash style and I'm going to call this style.js okay dot style open that up we have style um, and let's see no do we have any errors yes we do so let's see if I find any errors there I'm gonna reload and run this again and then also once that's done I'm also going to start applying those styles so unknown reference style sheet so let's see what we missed there oh so it's a capital S is where I messed up there so the react native uh, class is called style sheet okay so that's done okay so I imported the style sheet correctly but I haven't applied the styles yet so I'm going to say, I'm going to go down to this account section. And here, this is the account section view. What we can do is move this style into the style sheet. So let's do account. And then we'll say flex3. So we'll just move everything we had inside of this style sheet. So we have one object here just for the account. And then we can do dashboard style dot account. And you see we have the blue border. We have the margin of 15 pixels. And so it correctly applied that style. And so now instead of font size here, we can do dashboard style dot heading. And we get our 20 pixel heading. And then for this here, we'll say, um, left cell, we'll call it left cell. So flex one and flex direction row, dashboard style dot left cell. And I haven't made that yet. And we'll go flex direction one. Oops, flex of one, I mean. Right. So flex one, and then right cell will be flex one as well. Flex one. Okay, so we have a left cell and a right cell. And actually, what I want is this to be left cell. Left cell, and then dashboard style, right cell. And then this will be the cell container. So let's say dashboard style dot account cell. Okay, and then account cell is the wrapper around left and right cell. So this one we want flex one and flex direction row. Okay, and let's see what we missed here. View, and I didn't close that brace. Okay, now you see that looks correct. Uh, we, we've moved everything into a style. And now we can do style equals um, dashboard style dot label and we'll apply uh, this bold to the label and so we'll do that for all of our text labels here so I'll do that you see they're all bold and then we can also add a little bit of margin to the top of those just to give it a little bit of space so our labels can all have padding top 10 let's see how that looks okay that gives us a little bit of space and then we can get rid of this border color and border width because we know everything's positioned right and yeah that looks pretty good there it's nice and spaced and let's see how it looks here yeah it looks about right we have a count as a heading um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to put an underline there I'm just gonna leave it like like this I think this looks pretty good um, so yeah, that's it for creating a style sheet 
and we're gonna apply that style sheet uh, to other components. So uh, I'm gonna stop the video here. We covered how to create a style sheet and how to use flex direction row. Next, we're gonna fill in the uh, position section with more data from Alpaca and use the uh, flat list component to create like a tabular type of view. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks.